In this video, I want to review one of the services in AWS that I find rather fun. It is called Amazon Polly. And if you know about Alexa, you know about Amazon Polly. It kind of uses the same services, but this one just lets you type words that are then spoken for you. And the, the speech is getting better and better as we go along. So I think that it just makes it a little bit fun if you need to record something and you don't know how to record it or you don't think that someone has the voice to do it, you could do it here. So once we arrive to this page from the services, you just click on Amazon Polly and this text to speech. Now they have neural and standard and there's different pricing for each neural because it's uh, like it says the most natural human like speech possible. You will pay a little bit of money, but I think at the beginning they give you like 5 million characters or words for free per month. So it's really a no brainer. You could just use this and have some fun with it right off the bat. Once you come in here, they give you, something that it will read for you so we can take a listen hi my name is joanna i will read any text you type here and that's pretty cool isn't it so you could create whatever you want let's let's type something in here hi welcome to acme corporation and for whatever reason the website is taking a little bit to type in the information hi welcome to acme corporation sounds pretty good and you could pick others so let's pick this one hi welcome to acme corporation And you could also pick some with a certain accent, depending on where you're from. You might Hi. consider accent. Welcome to Acme Corporation. And so forth. Let's stick with English US. And we could also turn on what is called SSML. So it's a type of programming language if you will if you know HTML then you know how these uh, brackets work and so forth so it's speech synthesis markup language and let me give you an example here of this once you click on this it puts your code right here and if you know HTML you know that you have to close it out at the end right now it has no options it just gives you what's there and it will pronounce it just the same way as it was pronouncing it or speaking it in the previous example without SSML. But let's say you want to add some effect. Let's um, type something here like, wow, I love this song. If we listen to this. Wow, I love this song. It sounds the same, correct? So if I put in, this is my jam. Wow, I love this song. This is my jam. So one of the markups that we could do is called Prosody or Prosody. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but this allows you to slow it down. So if somebody says, this is my jam, well, you could try to mimic that here by putting this here and closing it out. Don't forget that with the forward slash Okay. And if you do a mistake or your coding is not correct, 
then it will come up with an error. See, there's an error. So what's my error here? Oh, I didn't spell this wrong. That's what it is. There we go. Let's see. Wow. I love this song. This is my... And as you can see, it did not work because I forgot to put the percentage. Let's try it again. Wow. I love this song. This is my jam. <laughs> so you can see it slowed it down. It, if you wanted to speed it up, you could do so as well. Wow. I love this song. This is my jam. And just says it kind of fast for you. So it's a fun little tool that you could use. Companies use this for voice recordings, for IVRs, uh, automated attendance in their uh, VoIP systems. They can also use it for other types of greetings, voicemail greetings, anywhere where you would need something like this. And so it's pretty cool. It has other effects that you could use as well. Wow. I love this song. This is my jam. Okay. I like that one. That was pretty cool. But you could play around with it. There are other variables that you could put in there or markups that you could put in there to either pause or speed it up or sound a little bit louder than the rest of it. So the more you play with it, the more you can get it closer to uh, sounding like real speech. And we also have to try one of the male voices just for kicks. Wow. I love this song. This is my jam. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird, but as you can see, it's very fun. Not every day do we get to mess around with things that are so much fun. But then once you're done with the recording, you could either download it or save it to S3 and whichever way you want. Downloading usually works best. It downloads as I believe as an MP3. And for some systems, you will probably have to change it over to a WAV file, but there's other applications that will do that for you. But just a little something that I wanted to put out there. I just think it's a very cool feature. It's, it just makes the job fun. If you get to play with it, get creative. Think of ways where you could use this somewhere. Think of ways that you could implement this. Like if somebody does this action, they would get this text to speech notification with time you build so much upon it and so much on it that you can create a lot of fun and different things.